The first one came in for our kinesiologist, Heather. Heather has been a fitness and sports um, employee for, I think, 10 years, and then she's transferred over to health promotion. So she's been with health promotion for at least that long too. And Heather can correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, the question for Heather is, I don't have access to weights until the gym opens. Is there something else I can do to keep up my strength? Over to you, Heather. Absolutely, Michelle. All it takes is a little bit of creativity to find some weights around your house. For example, I took all of my spoons and I wrapped them with an elastic. And you could do this with any of the heavy items that are in your kitchen, preferably not your sharp knives, but most anything in your kitchen that has is made of metal is going to add a little bit of weight. Even thinking about using your Dutch oven if you have one or a cast iron frying pan make great things to squat and deadlift with. So if you think about some lighter things, maybe you're gonna go in your pantry and find some of the canned goods. So um, the smaller or bigger that you need would work as well for some of that high rep training. I also brought out some of my old university books, which work great. All they've been doing is collecting dust for the last 20 years. So great use of them. You can place them on your lap to add some weight to do some glute bridges with. You can squat them, you can row them. You could really do anything you wanted with them. Um, another great one would be um, if you have any jugs at home. So I don't have any four liter milk jugs, but those would work great. I have a big thing of vinegar here, or you could go into your laundry room and see what does your laundry uh, soap come in. Maybe that is gonna work well, the container that that comes in. Fill it up with water uh, and it'll add some good weight to do things like kettlebell swings or rows, anything that you really wanted. Now, if that's still not heavy enough for you, Grab a backpack or a sturdy gym bag and load all the heavy things in it. That's going to give you even more weight. So there's, it really, you're only limited by your creativity when it comes to adding some weight to do resistance training with. Having said all that, I think it's really important to also think about this time may be the time that you wanna take a step back from doing all those things you've done in the gym. I know you're missing lifting heavy, but maybe there's a lot of opportunity here to try some new things that you're not doing, to work on some of those things that your body really needs right now. It's a chance to reinvent ourselves and try some new things. If you take a look at our PSP Edmonton YouTube site, you can see that some of our fitness staff have done some really great things. Scott Parody has a bunch of videos on uh, back health and on mobility that can be really useful for you. If you take that time right now to work on thoracic uh, spine flexibility and mobility, when you get back to the gym and you start lifting those heavy things, you're gonna have better posture and you're gonna be a better lifter because of it. So thinking about using the chance to do some of those things instead of just getting stuck in, this is what I've always done and this is what I wanna keep doing. Maybe you need to work on some flexibility and some body awareness and that's gonna really improve your fitness going forward when you do get back to the gym. Take a look at some of Andy Lima's stuff from our FNS staff. She has a whole series of yoga classes that you can follow. So I think it's really time that we think about what else could we do? What else could we try? What do haven't we done that maybe we would absolutely love and we've never even considered it? Now's the time to try those things. So at the end of the day, find what's gonna work for you, but also just keep moving. I think that's the biggest message for us in whatever way is gonna make you happy, in whatever way is going to help you to progress forward into the future. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.